Hey there, Detroit sports fanatics, and welcome to another edition of my Detroit Sports Show right here on blogtalkradio.com. Live from the northern outskirts of McBain, Michigan, with your host, truly me, Taylor Phillips. This is the Red Wings edition, if, and if you have opinions or want to join in on, on the conversation, you can call in by phone at 646-478-4837. That's 646-478-4837. The show will be 15 to 30 minutes long as always, and then after the show is all said and done, it'll be archived because it's recorded. Again, the guest phone number is 646-478-4837. That's 646-478-4837. You can still post your opinions and comments on my talk show post or on my timeline on my personal Facebook profile, Taylor Phillips at facebook.com slash phil1dt. On my Detroit sports page, Taylor Phillips' Detroit sports page at facebook.com slash Taylor sports page and in Taylor Phillips' Detroit sports group. And you can tweet me back on Twitter with your opinions on, uh, with your opinions at DT2Phillips. You can also search me on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Google at, at Taylor Phillips. I'm simulcasting on YouTube via Google. There's also a chat window on blogtalkradio.com for you to comment your opinions. Before we begin, here are the guidelines for all the listeners of tonight's show. Number one, if you have called in, stay on the line so I can get to you for a talk. If you hang up by mistake, not a big deal. Just redial this number, 646-478-4837. That's 646-478-4837. And then stay on the line until the end of the show. Number two, keep it very clean. No profanity, vulgarity, graphic violence, talk, criticism of the host, distasteful disregard, or anything below the bell of any subject matter. <laughs> Number three, treat each other with respect. Don't verbally abuse one another or I'll mute you for the remainder of the show. Number four, if you don't know much about the Red Wings or Detroit sports, you can still just listen to my show for education and entertainment. And number five, I, only I can change the topic because I'm the host of the show. So, um, let's uh, recap this whole week, and let me sum it up. There's got to be something, there's got to be a lot of, there are a lot of things wrong with the Red Wings right now. And to say the least, I'm not liking one bit of it. Not one. I don't care if they don't get shut out anymore. Never did. The Red Wings have lost four straight. Period. Two of them in regulation and two of them in a shootout because they're they just can't get their offense going. Simple. They lost. They blew a two nothing lead in Florida and lost three to two in a shootout to get swept in the home and home set with the Panthers. And then they. Uh, They lost in another shootout in six rounds against the Tampa Bay Lightning to lose two in a row to those guys for the first time in a long time, if not never. The, the, the final was two to one there. Then they came back and played the P Pittsburgh Penguins and got and lost horribly, four to one at the Joe, because they they were just falling apart and Mike Babcock just doesn't know what to do. Just 
Just hang on one second. Evgeny Malkin uh, got a goal and assist for the Penguins. In uh, the 4 1, in their 4 1 win over us. Uh, Sidney Crosby, the the hated one scored two goals. I don't know why. I don't know why he's not. Um, I don't know why he's not the first star. He should be, actually. As much as I hate him myself. But um, the Red Wings have not. Let's just move on here. Just. Uh, 30 shots on goal on Jeff Zadkov tonight, but let's move on. Let's move on here. A goal and a goal and two assists for Malkin. I stand corrected. So the Wings have not won at the Joe since Wednesday, November 27th, when they shellacked the Bruins six to one. because the Bruins were having a horrible game and the Red Wings were having a great game. The Red Wings currently stand at 15, 10, and 9 overall. Winless in 4, and, and they have dropped to five, seven, and six at home. Five, five wins, seven regulation losses, and six overtime losses, including shootouts. Just an ablocator left the game in the first period, getting hit by um, by uh, Derek. England, who got a five-minute major and a game misconduct, and could be uh, suspended for for uh, about two games, according to Mickey Redmond from Fox Sports Detroit. Cronwell scoring the only Red Wings goal tonight. Um, they're still losing at the, but their home record it still still shows that they're losing at they're losing a lot at the Joe, and losing in, in the shootout they, they they haven't even won one shootout this this season thus far, eleven consecutive shootout losses, two goals out of twenty six six two goals out of twenty six shot total shots on net this season. Or in that drought, I I'm going to get to that and get I'm going to get to that in a second. The reason why their offense stinks is because they're shooting right at the goaltender most of the time. They can't do that. They just can't. Period. That, that is just a lack of effort by the wings. Don't don't know how, but I, I don't know why they're shooting right at the goaltender. Maybe maybe if they're covered or just thinking too much. But they gotta they gotta make, make some moves here. They gotta start sniping their shots. They gotta start sniping a lot more of their shots.
Just, just pick a side. Blocker, glove, five hole. Just don't shoot it right at the goaltender's chest. Like you have a lot of, like you have done a lot of times. Doesn't matter if you're a veteran or a rookie or a call up or a, or just a mid pro or whatever. As long as you're on this Red Wings team right now, this is exactly what you're still doing, and that just uh, burns my rear end. I guess it only burns just mine, and nobody else's because, and almost nobody else's because there are. Ah, uh, never mind that. Uh, you know how Red Wing fans are normally. Because they don't follow along. And that's why I'm here. So, um, I'm going to tell you what, right now what's wrong with the Red Wings in the shootout. They're not deking before they shoot. They just come forward towards the opposing goaltender and shoot the puck directly at him. And that's a total, complete lack of effort of scoring a goal. Like I said, like I just said. The Red Wing shooters have to deke before they shoot the puck. It's the only way the shooter can score in any level of the game. I've heard the, I've heard from Matt Derry on Detroit Sports 105.1 from a fan's text that it's Babcock's fault the Wings are losing in shootouts because he kept trying to choose different players from the Red Wings team to try and score in the shootout, which isn't going to work if they don't deke. I agree with that fan, too. If Babcock keeps choosing other players from uh, that team to try to score over and over again, he's just overcoaching. Kind of like the way uh, Bill Huge Simonson thinks that Le Jim Leland is overmanaging his bullpen for the Tigers. And, and I, may, I may have agreed on that too. But all Mike Babcock needs to do is teach all of his Red Wings players to deke before they shoot. I can say that as many times as I want, too. Infinity times infinity, infinity to the infinity power. It's that simple. It doesn't matter where the player dekes or who the player is or whether it's left or right. It can fool any goaltender, any opposing goaltender, that is. Take Pavel Datsuk, for example. He hasn't been deking at all thus far this season. He hasn't done any of his Datsuki and deeks in any portion of a single hockey game. Whatever happened to those? I got a message on Facebook from Andy Shambo, one of my classmates from BCA 311, saying the wing shooters are thinking too much, which, which may possibly be the case. Kind of like, like I mentioned a, little, uh, a couple minutes ago. Their, he their head coach, Mike Babcock, needs to do much further scouting reports on each goaltender and where the, the Red Wing shooters need to deek on each particular opposing goaltender. It, it's all very simple. It's, it's no learning process. Just one little move then a shot in, into the back of the net, into the back of the twine. Only an idiot can learn so much from it. Or even an, or even an idiot doesn't even need to learn from that. So why not just do the one darn thing and, and then score the darn goal? Do a little magic trick. Sounds similar, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it all sounds similar. That's the way it is. Uh, the Red Wings power play unit is, is pathetic, unlike their penalty killing unit, because uh, they're just not generous. 
I mean, the, the Red Wings are moving the puck, but they're not getting many shots on goal. Whether it's shooting it wide or not shooting at all. Waited, waiting too long or getting, getting, a, getting too many shots blocked. If you think everything is nobody's is nobody's fault in that particular in that particular case, you're you're not even following the Red Wings at all. And you need to follow the Red Wings a lot better. And uh, Jonas Gustafsson had a rough night tonight like everyone does, but that's his own fault because he didn't stay in his crease at the time he gave up his first three goals against the Penguins. That's also the defense's fault, too. They were just standing around like statues, knocking pucks into their own net by accident, like boneheads. That's exactly like, that's exactly how a little league hockey team plays just to play. This is the NHL, guys. But more importantly, on top of all that, I blame it on Mike Babcock because he's not teaching his young guys the basics. He's he's teaching them too complicated of of details and not the basics. Now I may be kind of saying that Babcock should be fired, but not. I'm not. It's not like I'm really skating it out or anything. He, all I want him to do is teach them the basics of, of how to score and how to play fundamental defense. Uh, their penalty killing unit uh, had a rough night too, but the, I still think they were, I still think they're great. That's, that's one advantage they have. Justin Applicator uh, did not return to the game tonight. And uh, he looked pretty banged up as he left the ice. He's done uh, a little bit for the Red Wings offensively on the forecheck. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the NHL standings for right now. Starting with by division, the Red Wings are are in remain in fourth place with 39. Uh, uh, remain in fourth place, yet tied with Tampa Bay for third with 39. But the Red Wings have a have a bit of a different record behind those points, which is a little a little worse than Tampa Bay's, or just not as good as. The Wings again stand at 15, 10, and 9. The Lightning stand at 18, 11, 3. That those two teams both play each other at the Joe tomorrow at, at five.
the for the Penguins who won tonight that they remain in first place by 10 points in the Metropolitan Division ahead of the Washington Capitals with 47 points of their own. The Capitals have 37. And uh, the Lightning and Red Wings game tomorrow will be on Fox Sports Detroit Plus. And then the other two games in the home stand, in the four game home stand, will be on Tuesday against the Ducks at 7 30 on Fox Sports Detroit. Then on Thursday against the Calgary Flames at 7 30 on Fox Sports Detroit. The Ducks are from Anaheim, as you know. And Saturday, the Red Wings uh, go on the road to Toronto and take on the Maple Leafs at 7 on Fox Sports Detroit, the NHL Network, and CBC's Hockey Night in Canada. Which is the, which is the only road game in between Flames game at the Joe and the Islanders game two, a week from Monday at the Joe. That's at 7.30 on Fox Sports Detroit Plus. So uh, let's just move on. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. Conference standings. The Red Wings are in fifth place. in a battle for fourth place with the Lightning. Oh. Here it goes. Penguins in first, Bruins second, Canadians third, Lightning Lightning fourth, Red Wings fifth, Capitals sixth, Maple Leafs seventh, Hurricanes eighth, Blue Jackets ninth, Devils tenth, Senators eleventh, Flyers twelfth, Rangers thirteenth, Panthers fourteenth, Islanders uh, 15th and Sabres 16th. Still thinking the Red Wings uh, should have swept the Panthers instead of getting swept by the Panthers. So the Panthers are just that awful. They they have 27 points at 11, 17, and 5. Something is severely wrong. A lot of things are severely wrong with the with the with the Red Wings. But but you know something? Ken Holland and Mike Babcock don't need to single players out and make make any costly moves, economically costly moves or anything like that. Just teach the players the basics again until they get everything right. Now we move on. I heard yesterday that from the Detroit News on Facebook that the at that Joe Louis Arena, their home, could soon be demolished after they leave for their new arena. That is because according to the Detroit Free Press on Facebook, the Detroit Downtown Development Authority has agreed on has just approved yesterday their new arena. Still yet to be named. Their agreement to demolish Joe Louis Arena uh, came yesterday, actually. Um, their new arena is at their, their new arena cost $450 million.
So um, the new arena will be located on Woodward and Temple Roads in Detroit. It's uh, still somewhere downtown, greater downtown Detroit. It is, and the uh, Joe Louis Arena demolition deal it was was worth a complex was complex, and it was worth six hundred fifty million dollars. They. The DDA has approved the new arena with concept with the Illich family. See, uh, Joe Louis Arena has been there since the late 1970s. And, um, The city of, of Detroit and the owner of the Red Wings, Mike Illich, have agreed on, on that demolition just yesterday, along with the agreement between Illich and the city of Detroit on the new arena. It, it is tentatively estimated that the Red Wings will start playing in the, the arena for the 2016-2017 hockey season. NHL regular season, NHL season altogether. So that mean, that means it could be raised around. According to the Detroit News, it could be raised around 2017. That that Joe Louis Arena will be demolished. It's not, and it's not 2015 either. Benjamin Dare Grimes. I'm just letting you know that and I already commented, replied to your comment on Facebook there earlier today. So you you know you've got that down pat. So I'm actually glad to hear, hear some word on, on the demolition of Joe Louis Arena and, and the new arena that was just approved yesterday by the DDA and the City of Detroit and Mike Illich, their owner, the team's owner. Well, for me, that's going to do it. That's all the ground I have to cover for tonight's Red Wings edition of Taylor's Detroit Sports Show. Coming up tomorrow at 11, tomorrow night at 11, coming up tomorrow night at 11 is the Pistons edition. Until then, this is Taylor Phillips saying, uh, signing off by saying TTFN, ta-ta for now.